I'm from HM Info. Our catalyst is 5G pricing and monetization innovation. Uh, this card list is built for China Telecom and China Mobile. Mm, you know, in, uh, in June this year, the China Telco operator announced the start of 5G commercial progress, facing the innovation of network architecture and business model, how to support the new billion scenarios and monetize the 5G network capabilities is a problem this card list is trying to address. I would like to share you a typical scenario, 5G network slice, service for sport event. Sespis as a center, the left side is his customer, the right side is his vendors. The value chain is, Sespis can charge the event organizer by provide URLL, EMBB network slice, and, v and provide VR solution. CSPs can also connect with the audience through 5G network access service and obtain users and data which can be monetized in the future, not just being a provider of network infrastructure, right? The organizer can get profit from ticket sale and the, the broadcasting income based on better experience of VR solution. Uh, the value, the customer value here is multi-angle volume of the event and get more, attract more fans, which can be monetized in the future too. This different role construct the value chain together. Uh, let's uh, give, a, give a, an example. Um, in a football match, like a great goal, you want to experience that moment from goalkeeper and player's angle view through your smartphone. This kind of service is provided by CSP, which need to integrate third-party capabilities like VR content provider. And the CSP provides the organizer the whole, the complete uh, solutions. Um, in this whole process, CSP is adding more value in customer and non-customer business space, which will result in very different pricing model. Uh, so we can use pricing and charging method combination. I'll explain later. Okay, this is a roadmap provided by uh, our champion. Based on 5G commercial progress, we are focused on the first and second phase of capabilities. Uh, the first phase will improve the experience of network applications for individual users. And second phase with a platform as center, we can provide network slice and the terminal equipment. It mainly integrates the network slicing capabilities into vertical industry. The key point here is slicing dimension and expo explorer dimension. I can explain later. Uh, the new billion system is a convergence of BSS and OSS domain data, pricing and charging capability in one. Uh, the billing concept here, I mean uh, pricing and the charging. Uh, we created a network slice instance based on SLA requirement customized by vertical industry. The pricing can be based on SLA dimensions such as coverage, availability, latency, throughput. Different scenarios generate different costs, right? We we can use multi-dimensional charging and dynamic pricing to calculate the final bill through our new billing system. After starting use of the network's network, the OSS data transferred to BSS system lossless, which is used to charge the network resources usage. Okay, this is dynamic pricing based on SLA procedure. Firstly, the customer can select the slice type, MBB URLC, and SLA parameters like basic feature, latency, speed, capacity, UE connection, PDU section. This kind of uh, performance and uh, functional indicators can be choose based on uh, customer's business scenario scenarios and requirements. Secondly, with this SLA dimension through our dynamic pricing algorithm, 
the system calculates the benchmark price automatically. Then, the final price is the benchmark price multiplied by the coefficient. Co coefficient here, I mean, like, based, like CSP strategies, discount allowing historic conceptions, consumptions, etc. This kind of factors are superimposed to calculate the final price. Mm, in general, I think 5G, uh, the, the billing method for 5G will be more oriented to usage scenarios. And the CSPs must add more value in business and enterprise space that will result in very different pricing method. We are able to help them as they are building out their offerings and business positioning in 5G. And uh, this whole concept, and uh, we made a proposal for our champion and define it as multi-dimensional bailing for 5G. This concept and the proposal has been accepted by our champion China Mobile and China Telecom. 